Hello Minecrafters, Kuunichi Kitty here, and this time I'm putting the spotlight on a craft bucket server plugin called Scriptlock. For those of you who are unaware of what it is or what it's capable of, allow me to fill you in. Scriptlock attaches almost any command from any plugin to any block in the game. Did you get all that? No? Well that's okay. I knew you'd be sitting there at home with your eyebrows raised thinking what in Minecraft is she talking about? That's why I've gone through the trouble of preparing plenty of examples for you. But before we get to that, allow me to break down the script and explain the various command options. Script block utilizes one of two triggers, interact and walk. Interact requires that the player physically touch the block with the script attached to it in order to run. For example, to press a button or pull a lever. While on the other hand, walk requires only that the player pass over the block with a script attached to it or the pressure plate above it. The trigger is represented in the beginning of the script by either slash sb interact for interactive triggers or slash sb walk for walk triggers. It is followed by one of five type commands. Create, which allows the creation of a new script. Add which allows you to add another option to a pre-existing script, remove, which removes the script from the block, view, which allows you to see the script you've attached to a block, and reload, which reloads the plugin and is useful when editing the block data file while the server is still running. Now that you know the triggers and the command types, we will move on to the options. I like to divide the options into two groups, directional and functional. Directional options include, but are not limited to, at command, which is a simple script without bypass and works for people with the necessary permissions, at bypass, which runs regardless of the permissions or groups, at group, which will only run if the player is of the required group, at perm, which will only run if the player has the required permission. These options may be followed by at say, which inputs the script into chat as if the player had said it, at player, which sends the script as a message to the player, at amount, which limits the amount of times the script can be used, and at delay and at cooldown, which add a cooldown in either seconds or minutes. Both above option groups may proceed after. Cost, which sets monetary cost of the script, an item, which sets item cost of the script. Since these options relate not to the recipient of the script, but additional actions taking place, I feel it is convenient to refer to them as functional. It is also important to note that when using multiple options, it is necessary to separate them by using brackets. If you wish to refer to the player at any time during the script, you may use the command player. Whew, that was a lot. Overwhelmed? Me too. At least the hard part is over. Now we will take a look at script block in action.